Raccoons. No raccoons. No raccoons. Well, you're holding it Why? I'm just saying, there are no raccoons. Everybody's face. got skunks. Nobody has raccoons. That was so casual, too. I've been hoarding, I've been hoarding I, I all feel the like we could probably yeah, mount this to the front of your fiesta. That's what I'm saying. All right, well, we are here today at Bedford Street Antiques. We have a whole crew of friends with us today. <laughs> we have Dagny of Flying Big Thrips. We have Kate of Follow That Bug. Uh, we also have Sandy of My Flipping Van Life. And Susan of Two Glassy Sisters of Whatnot. Um, and we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. I don't even know what's happening right now. I have 15 minutes What is that? See her pickle purse? She's got a pickle purse, but I'm confused at what she's sitting on. <laughs> she's the cutest. I know. What is that? What is she sitting on? What are you sitting on? What is that? Sitting on the brownie can. The brownie can, of course. <laughs> Dagon. Dagon? Dagon. That's short for Dagon. They have, it's from a jewelry company, and they want to send me a, oh, a, a message. Oh, you're a big influencer, right? But you then can you get, get those. Oh, Dagon. Dagon. Dagon is short for Dagni and Dagmar. Dagmar and Dragnet. Hi. There she is. About time. I had a pack. <laughs> she had to pack the car. Look at all the action happening right now. <laughs> pack the car and walk the dogs. Sandy, I know you love chalet. I can never get this open. I think this has a. Yeah, that's okay. That's why. Oh, <laughs> I love that so much. I'm just like 295. I'm like, I can't store that. In my van. <laughs> I can't store that in my van. <laughs> I know. I looked at that the last. This is the Jordan import. It's 55. I know. Paul puts stuff in this case that he, he knows I would like. Yes. He does a good job. He does a really good job. Yeah, there's a few vases in the back. 26 on that Oh, I found her. I know, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, there's some good stuff. Uh, do you think Andrew would help me mount these to the front of my Fiesta at the shop? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think it would add a nice little dimension to your I love it. They're kind of great. Let's creep on the booth for a minute. Holiday display coming soon. Mom did a really good job. Check out our booth on the second floor. So I sent mom over here the other day when I was in Ohio. I was like, Mom. We might need a refresher on the booth, and I don't know when I'll be able to get over and do it. And she came over, and uh, she did an awesome job. This is what she loves. She really loves just refreshing the booth and designing the booth, and I think she did a great job. I think it is looking a little sparse, though. we got to move some fresh stuff in here. Oh, Mom put that in there, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, see, I'll help you. <laughs> I'm like, why is there a puzzle? <laughs> I know, my mom did that. She did this too, isn't that great? She put Nippus on it. Yeah, I was really confused. I'm like, where did this come from? And then, I know, it's like cookies. And then I, and then I remembered <laughs> that I told mom. I was like, yeah, if you want to move some stuff in there, just make up a tag. And that's what she did. I thought that they were real cookies that. for a second. I was thinking now you're selling cookies? <laughs> yeah, I am selling, yeah. I went from coffee to cookies. Well, they go hand in hand. They do, kind of, for most people. <laughs> yeah, except for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we seem to have lost Susan. I'm not sure where she ended up, but we're going to go around the corner here. I'm going to check out one of my favorite booths over this way. See if there's any new treasures. Kate's attempting to get some kitschy stuff out. What are these? 2004 homies. That is so bizarre and I'm very confused by it. There's like snails coming out of an egg. And then there's also a whole bag of homies. And I have so many questions. 
what is what is happening do they go together or are they just hanging out also here's a dachshund <laughs> i really like that <laughs> there's some bimini or bimini i never know how to pronounce it but you could tell because it's like paper thin glass german art deco card holder if that makes sense also a butt vase you can see how ultra thin paper thin the glass is on there hmm. all right well, let's venture in and see what we can find in this booth a couple skunks Kokeshi. Some elephants. Those are fun. Elephant green and clear. $22. Those are crystal clear. Made in China. There's a whole set of a family of elephants. So what do you make of what do you make of this? The snails? It's a dinosaur egg, isn't it? But what about those homies? What? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about the snails. No, no. Does it all go together? No. No, it doesn't? Okay. No. Now, these are cool. The Steinbach little critters. Mm -hmm. they, they are remind me of the, um, They remind me of the, uh, the German smokers. Kate just brought me this fancy thing for $35. Kind of like it. You guys find anything cool over here? Did anybody look at this? This is wild. Yes. I thought you were getting that. The original pothead? I yeah. regretted leaving it last time. So I thought you were I'll why you did why. you not? So I'll tell you what, what makes me nervous. It's this right here. That doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you? No. Well, you'll probably clean up on it if you take it because a couple people already asked me why I didn't get it and where they can find it. So I, I love can it. Just, Redirect my messages <laughs> to you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I love this so much. Yeah. It's, it's got bees one. on it. it I know, it's goose? awesome. It's got bees. Yeah, so apparent, yeah, apparently it's a good deal. That's right, what I was cool. told. All right, well, this is one of our favorite booths. We're going to check up on the second floor. Ooh, I see a little loose site over here. There's some fun loose site napkin holders, the chicken. And also some dried flowers. Down here is redware. Is this the Eldrith redware? Eldrith redware pottery mug. How much is that guy? $16.87. Every time I come shopping, I'm like, I don't really need to buy any more mugs. And then inevitably I end up with more mugs. $16.87. I'm gonna leave them and see if anyone else wants to pick them up. And then I'll make a decision on those. Um, oh, those are very sweet owls. MCM Cryptomira Wood Owls with Yellow Glass Eyes. Set of three for 1987. There's some, um, those are made in China. They're fake, they're the fake Murano, but they're still really pretty. I love the pastel colors. They don't have the originals. I think they're Crystalaria, maybe is the brand on those. A lot of people get fooled by these because the sticker says um, in the style of Murano and they assume that they are Murano, but they're actually made in China. There's a cute set of ducks. A pair of cute ducks. What is the price? Sold as a pair. Mrs. Miss, Mrs. And so I can't read that. <laughs> we don't see a price though. Oh, $42.77 for the pair. That's not a bad price. I love the color. I love, I love the that. Combo. The contrast is so amazing. You want it. You're gonna be sad if you don't get also, that Santa is really great. You've been carrying that around for a while now. Oh, I'm getting him. Is he Holt Howard? That's what the tag says, and that's what Kate says. So I'm gonna trust. I would trust it. it. Oh, I trust love the eyeballs. The eyeballs make it because they're stars. Yeah, the starry eyes that I know of Cole Howard are different. 
and I can't, I can't do anything in here because I have no cell service. Oh, I know there's never I'm a just, signal. You I'm just, just gotta gonna wing it. it. I love it. <laughs> Those ducks over there are 47 for the pair. Those were a good deal. Oh my gosh, what is this? What? Mermaid? Okay, I'm getting this mermaid. That is so fantastic. It's a coconut shell mermaid. All right, well, I'm going to move this up so nobody kicks it. But here we are in the upstairs booth. All right. Yeah, I think Mom did a nice job with the cart. All the greeneries. Holiday display coming soon. That means I have to start pricing things that are holiday themed. Yeah, I love it. I think I need to probably move out the fall artwork. Oops, see, there's a tag on there. My tags, for some reason, haven't been sticking lately. They seem to be falling off everything. It's kind of frustrating. Um, but yeah, it's looking good up here. It isn't is really like high. Like? Mm, kind of, but like I don't think it is. Yeah, I would. Whoa. Yeah, I think Sandy's right. I, I, I read the tag. Did oh. you read the tag? Oh. Yeah, no, I read the tag. It's not even. It's an Italian owl. It is nice. Uh, raccoons. No raccoons. No raccoons. Why? I'm just saying, there are no raccoons. Everybody's got skunks. Nobody has raccoons. That was so casual, too. I've been hoarding I feel like we could probably mount this to the front of your Fiesta. That's what I'm saying. That one's a little more realistic than the one that was downstairs. Yeah. Can we actually mount that to the front of the Fiesta? I don't see why not. I think it's... Sure. It could probably have... Yeah. Yeah, what are the look, chances of even this has flying carpet. off my Fiesta and putting a dent in both my tires? <laughs> it has carpet on the front, too. <laughs> Somebody put carpet on the front of that. <laughs> I don't catch all the bugs. <laughs> it's, like, not that funny because, like, if I put this on the happen. Fiesta, you know it would do totally fall off and poke both my tires somehow it would like fall on one side and then fly on the other so we're, so we're not fastening it to the front no of maybe the bug the bug needs texas longhorns but okay. not the fiesta not the fiesta all right noted <laughs> dagny do they glow do they glow yes they do. Do we need sixteen dollar I know there there was somebody in Knickknacks who posted in the in search of for neon stuff. I don't know. I don't know. They're walking away. I know. I saw them earlier and I was like, I'll leave them there and see if anyone else picks them up. <laughs> they are kind of great and they're owls, so is that crazy lamp lady's booth? It's looking a little sparse though, but mom did a really amazing job making it look festive. Thing? That's my mom's. <laughs> More piggies. Ah, uh, yes. Lots of pigs. I think I got that one at Goodwill. That was my acquisition. Yeah, mom's favorite thing is decorating. Yeah, she does an amazing job. She should open her own Well, we talked about that, and I don't think she likes the sourcing part. She likes the decorating part, so I'm going to source, and she's going to decorate, and that's the plan. Yep. Yeah, because I'm not really good at the decorating part, so <laughs> I'll source it, I'll price it, she can decorate it, and that's how it goes, and looks good. Tell me about this this Fastoria hat. Fastoria heirloom, when it goes, instead of going down into like an ewer shape, it goes into a dragon tooth, and those sell really well. The last one I had um, was uranium, and it glowed, and it was, oh my gosh. It, it was crazy, it was beautiful. And it's a dragon tooth. And it's a dragon tooth, and I actually I had somebody send me a message the other day saying, do you have any more? <laughs> <laughs> this could have been one, except they bent it down. Yes. I'm going to look for that now. Yes. Fantastic. I see you have some goodies in there. Oh, yes. Creeping. What are those little things? Oh, yeah. These are little sacrificial oh, goat 
elves. Oh my gosh, they really are though. Yes. You weren't joking. No. They've got cute little butts. Yeah, I found two of them. Those are so cool. It's going snow Very powered. neat. Okay, well that video was a little bit short. And so I decided to bring you guys back here to the shop uh, where I must prepare for my upcoming Lucite sale. Um, it is scheduled for December 6th at 4 p.m. Eastern on knickknacks.net. I have decided to hold the sale on knickknacks. Uh, so I apologize to those of you who are on the West Coast who may not be able to attend because it is in fact at 4 p.m. Eastern, but that is when I have the availability to do it and it must be done. Um, I've been saving up Lucite for about two, three months, um, and the time has come. So I'm gonna be preloading the sales, snapping some photos today, and also, I'm still getting ready to stock the booth. So I have to pull some items together for the booth. I'm hoping that mom and I can get over there and start loading stuff into the booth, because uh, I have quite a few things set aside, um, but maybe if, if time allows today, I will also be pricing some more items. And uh, I'm really hoping this week, this is the week that we get over there, so. Okay, so most of the lucite that I have to sell is over here in this corner. So I am going to load all of this onto a cart. The rest of the things on these shelves are buy it nows on knickknacks. Pretty certain. So if you see anything on these shelves that you like, you can probably find it over on knickknacks but the loose site here i'm going to clear off the shelf that'll give me more room to put my knickknack stuff okay so here is all of the loose site this is months months of sourcing um i don't think it's 40 items but i think we're good enough for a sale i have a few favorites here on the cart this is one of them this is actually signed and it is a paperweight it's one of my favorites. I love this as well. And um, that's for drinks. We have some Lucite candle sets. Smiley face is really fun. There are some seahorses. Lots of trivets. A lot of the pressed flower ones as well. And then the mermaids. These are repaired. I have one of the popcorn lights. Those are always fun. I sold a few of those in the past. This is blue. It's a little bit smaller than the other ones I've sold. But it seems to be in good condition. A lot of the times the little petals break off. One flower arrangement. <laughs> those are kind of fun coasters. So yeah, it's just it's kind of a, a mix. A mix of things. But I'm going to get this all preloaded into my knickknack sale. I almost forgot the owl. The owl is great. I actually found that at Goodwill. Oh, and the box. Where's the box? This box is marked Italy. It's made of lucite. It's marked Italy. I think this is something fancy. So I think that's a good one. Good. All right, I'm going to get this preloaded. Unfortunately, you cannot pre-bid. You have to be there. But... Um, they're working on that. All right. Well, I've photographed everything here on this cart. Um, everything over here I have not photographed yet, but I just had this thought that I haven't really gotten into my groove yet over on knickknacks. It's taking me a little bit longer to move stuff a lot, like auction stuff. And so I feel like I should start with this and see how long this takes me. And if I still have time, I can add more on the fly. Or I could also list these as buy it now, and if they don't sell as buy it now, I can convert them over into auction items and auction them off. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think that's kind of my best bet for now. My next task is to clear off some room here on the table, and that means pricing stuff for the booth or listing stuff on knickknacks. Uh, so this I had actually picked up to put in the booth. That's an easy one. Uh, that over there, I think actually the shoji um, is probably going to go. I feel like that's eBay. I feel like I need lots of eyes on that. Knickknacks is still pretty young. I feel like there's not enough eyes yet. 
So that might be eBay, but I gotta take pictures of it regardless. So I'm gonna move it into the back. Canister, booth, little teapot can go to the booth. There's quite a few things here. So I'll just start pricing it and then I can move it over to that table and uh, make her some room. So I started over here and I'll just run down the pricing with you guys. I did 24 on the Federal Show Off canister, 24 on that, 12 on the little dripolator. I did eight bucks a piece on these restaurant wear willow plates. Now I have to decide on the price on this. Um, I'll probably do 12 on that. The primitive style is popular. That's kind of a folk art primitive style. Okay, here we go. I've made space. Um, I priced a few of those things. Uh, I did move the Shoji set into this laundry basket as well as um, Noah's Ark, which I'm going to list as a buy it now. The mug, I mean, the mug doesn't really have to go online. The mug could technically go into the booth, but I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. Um, <laughs> This probably just needs to go into the closet until Halloween. All right, well, I must end it there. I have got to get over to the school to see Ashton start in today's basketball game. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging around the shop with me, getting ready for the Lucite sale. And I hope to see you tomorrow, December 6th. It might not be tomorrow for you. Um, it is a Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern on Knickknacks. Nicknacks.net is where I will be having the live sale. Um, so hopefully I see you guys there. And uh, if not, I do have a whatnot sale coming up. I have a whatnot sale scheduled for December 10th, and it is paperweights. It is one of my big paperweight sales. It is Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern, December 10th. So if I don't see you on Wednesday, maybe I'll see you on Sunday. But I'm going to sign off, and uh, I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long.